This might be you and your family at the breakfast table almost any morning, eating the foods you need to keep you healthy and make you grow up strong. Of course, when you eat, you have these things to help you. And the foods you eat are cooked meats from animals, cooked vegetables, and raw vegetables. Why, you're not so different from other animals, are you? But what about these foods? You don't find them on your table. Many animals do. Let's see how some of the animals catch and eat their food. Throughout your life, you've watched your pets or farm animals eat their food. Perhaps you've seen the flat, stubby teeth that cows have for grinding up the grasses and grains they eat. But did you ever notice some of the ways in which other kinds of animals are equipped for eating? Well, we're going to look at a few of them right now. These birds are eagles, and a great deal of their food is meat. Eagles have sharp beaks for tearing their food into small bits, beaks which they often use for killing small prey. And they have strong, sharp claws for holding their food while they tear it to pieces with their beaks. Many other animals are equipped in the same way. This is Roadrunner, another meat-eating bird, a furious bird with strange eating habits. He likes snakes, lizards, and snails, especially snails like this one. The Roadrunner's sharp eyes help him find his food, and he soon spies the snail. Snails have hard shells to protect their soft bodies, but the Roadrunner has a way to solve that problem. He merely goes to the nearest rock and then he pounds and pounds the snail on it until the shell breaks so that he can get at the snail inside. Mr. Roadrunner's strong beak comes in mighty handy in helping him get his food. The pelican is a funny looking bird. He fishes for his food. The lower part of his large beak sometimes serves as a great pouch in which to hold the fish he catches. The pelicans fly over the water searching for fish, which is their main food. When a pelican sights food in the water below him, he dives down to the surface. As soon as he spots a fish in the water, he dips in with his huge beak and comes up with a fish. Having a beak such as the pelican has is almost like having your own built-in fishing rod. The common garden spider, who usually lives in the tall grass, spins a sticky web in which to catch and store her food supply. She lives chiefly on insects. When an insect gets caught in a sticky web, it's held fast. And Mrs. Spider immediately begins to spin more web in which to wrap the insect so that he'll stay there until she's ready to eat him at some later time. This insect, the praying mantis, looks much like a leaf or green twig. If he remains quiet and motionless, his meal sometimes will come to him. In cases like this, his great oversized claws are useful for holding the captured insect. And the sharp jaws are built for chewing right through a piece of food. Notice the way in which the mantis holds his food while eating.
After a hearty meal on a nice juicy insect, the praying mantis washes himself, much like a cat, licking his paws and forelegs and wiping his jaws. This animal has a very special diet, ants. That's why he's called an anteater. He's equipped with a long, thin, sticky tongue which he uses to pick up the ants. He searches for his food wherever ants may live, on the ground or in the trees. An old, partly rotten tree is just the place to look for them. He hunts around until he locates a nest of live ants. If he finds no opening in it, he makes one so he can get his long tongue into the nest. If you look closely, you can see the large toenails or claws on each front foot. The anteater uses these to rip the nest apart so he can scoop up the ants with his long sticky tongue. The raccoon likes crabs and other shellfish, which he catches easily. These small crabs will make a very tasty meal for Mr. Raccoon. But sometimes one gets away from him, and he has to dig for it. The raccoon also likes fish, which he catches with his front paws and eats with his sharp teeth. Most interesting of all, the raccoon washes his food whenever possible, turning it over and over in the water while he's eating. So it is that every animal in this world is especially equipped in some manner to catch and eat the food it must have in order to survive, food which it must have to live and reproduce its kind. How sharp are your eyes? Can you discover what special equipment this animal has for food getting? Perhaps this clue will help you. Do you see now? In what special way is this animal equipped to catch and eat its food? Does this help you find out? This one should be easy to discover. Do you see? Perhaps you can discover other examples in the animals you see in your books or all around you almost every day.